family. Movies brief here. Today, I am going to explain a comedy drama film called Hitchkey. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Nina is a woman in her 20s looking to get a job as a teacher. She has a bachelor's degree in education and a master's degree in science, making her the perfect candidate academically. However, her biggest drawback in life is that she has Tourette's syndrome. This causes her to make uncontrollable noises that sound like hiccups. Since she can hardly keep quiet because of it, the interviewers believe that she is unfit to be a teacher. Nina has been trying to get a job for the past five years, but with no luck. She is now working as a freelance animator, but hasn't given up on finding a job as a teacher. Nina lives with her mother and younger brother, Vinay, both of whom support her unconditionally. A flashback shows us that when Nina was in middle school, she used to be made fun of all the time. The teachers didn't understand that her condition was uncontrollable and sent her outside the class whenever she made a noise. This had a huge effect on her mental health and she could hardly make friends. She was transferred from 12 schools and was told to go to school for children with special needs. But Nina's mother, Suda, was adamant about giving her daughter a normal life. The same cannot be said for her father, Sachin. He divorced Suda after finding out that Nina had Tourette's and was never present for the first few years of her life. He tried to bond with his children over the years, but every time they went out, he was so embarrassed of Nina. He also urged Suda to send her to a special needs school, but she didn't give up on her daughter. The day Nina found out that her parents divorced because of her, she shoved toilet paper into her mouth to try to prevent the noises. She wanted to be liked by her father so badly that she blamed herself for not being good enough. Currently, Sachin does his best to be present in his children's lives, but Nina doesn't welcome him. He doesn't support her dreams and wants her to take an easy banking job. One day, they get into an argument about the matter when suddenly, Nina gets a call from her former school, St. Notkers. They ask her to come in for a second interview, claiming that she has gotten a job. A high school teacher at St. Notker resigned mid-term, leaving the school's board desperate for a new candidate. Although Nina was not their first choice, they had to hire her for the time being. She goes for a follow-up interview with the dean and fellow teachers. They are all skeptical because of obvious reasons, but Nina's spirit impresses them. When asked why she wants to be a teacher, she replies that after being kicked out of 12 schools, she was accepted by St. Notkers, all thanks to her former teacher, Mr. Ali. A flashback shows us little Nina watching a drama performance during a school function. While everyone in the audience watches in silence, she cannot help but make a noise because of her Tourette's. What? 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 They look at her, annoyed, when the school's principal, Mr. Ali, calls her to the stage. He makes her explain her condition to the audience and asks her what they can do to help her. After listening to her story, the teachers of the school understand her condition much better and help her accordingly. Back in the interview, she praises Mr. Ali, claiming that she wants to be a teacher because of him. Impressed with the answer, the dean welcomes her to the school. But a fellow teacher named Wadia bluntly declares that it is a bad decision. The dean shows Nina around the school and tells her that she is supposed to teach class 9F, the students with, you guessed it, the worst grades in the school. On her first day at the job, Nina goes to the auditorium, reminiscing about the day she was called to the stage. The students of class 9F enter the room but do not notice her. They talk in foul street language and start smoking cigarettes. Some of them play with their pet mice, while the others play cards. They also talk about Nina, calling her names and making fun of her hiccups like Tourette's. Nina hears them but doesn't confront them. Later, she meets the students for the first time and welcomes them to her class. Like she had thought, they make fun of her hiccups and call her names. Their leader, Atish, makes inappropriate comments about wanting to call Nina at night. Still, when the students laugh, she laughs with them, not showing that her words affect her. She also explains to them what Tourette's is. The students realize that she heard their conversation earlier and go quiet. But moments later, they burst into laughter when Nina falls from a broken chair while trying to sit on it. During the lunch break, one of the school's top scoring students, Akshay, gets into an argument with Atish about a punctured football. They get into a fight, but only Atish is taken to the dean's office. The following day, Nina meets the school's janitor and asks him the history of Class 9F. Ah, the janitor, the center of wisdom at any public school. She finds out that everyone in Class 9F lives in a nearby slum in poverty. 
They were granted admission to the prestigious school because their old municipal school was under heavy debt. They had been promised good education, but instead, they faced prejudice from the teachers and the wealthy students. With time, they retaliated and became the people they are today. After finding out the truth, Nina is determined to help them even more. But the students do not cooperate. They never pay attention when she is teaching and prank her every day. One time, they even go as far as to paste her picture and phone number around the neighborhood, advertising her as a sex worker. When Nina walks into the class the next morning, she sees a bucket. On looking closer, it explodes and breaks the glass window. The students are about to be expelled from the school because of the pranks, but Nina takes the blame on herself, claiming that the explosion was her fault. She asks the dean to give them one more chance. When he tells her that the kids have no future, Nina insists that if they do not score good results on the final exam, she will admit that she was wrong and the students will be expelled. The dean agrees and gives her four months time to prove herself. Following that, she comes to the classroom to the students who are grateful that she helped them. It is foreign to them because no teacher of the school had treated them with respect until now. Starting the next day, the students pay attention to when she teaches and get along with her. Nina uses various innovative techniques to keep them entertained. She even holds classes on the ground and throws boiled eggs at them to explain about a parabola. All this time, Wadia watches her, unimpressed by her teaching techniques. He is hoping for her downfall because he despises the students of 9F. In one of the classes, the students complain that they are never considered for eligibility to be in the school's prefects team. Nina takes their concern to the dean and is told that a student has to score more than 90% to be eligible. Wadia laughs at the thought of her students scoring that high, but Nina takes on the challenge. The next week, the school holds a parent-teacher meeting. While all other teachers are busy talking to the parents, Nina sits idle the entire time. Since the parents of the students in 9F are busy trying to make minimum wage daily, they hardly get time to be involved in their children's lives. Nina takes it upon herself to go to the slums and meet the parents. The lifestyle of the people living there makes her realize why the students have such a hard time focusing on their studies. The kids and their parents have to wait in line for hours just to get a bucket of water. The family barely earns enough to make a living, let alone to invest on better stationaries for their kids. In the next class, Nina asks the kids to write down a list of things they are scared of. After they are done, she asks them to use the list as a way of letting go of the fear. She brings in a bogart, and the students tear the pages and make paper airplanes with them. Wadia finds one of the papers and laughs at what is written on it. Nina teaches the students in a way that actually interests them. Even the students of class 9A are jealous of the fun experiments that she lets the children perform. Wadia and his students are preparing a project for the National Science Fair. St. Notker has won the last two years, hence Wadia is hoping for a third win. One day, the topper, Natasha, invites Atish and the group to give them a tour of their project. By this time, the students of 9F are just as good in their studies as the others. They even suggest innovative changes that could be done to the project. However, when Wadia finds out they are messing with it, he insults Atish, calling him a mere bicycle mechanic. Later, Atish says offensive things to Akshay in order to pick a fight with him. They almost hit each other and have to be separated by Nina. Atish calls her an animal from a circus, making fun of her Tourette's. Nina almost hits him, but controls herself. That evening, she goes to dinner with her family for her brother's birthday. Her father, Sachin, orders for her when she takes the time to do so because of her Tourette's. It is clear that he is embarrassed by her, which causes tension between the two yet again. The next day, Akshay presents their project to the school teachers to practice for the science fair. However, the working model explodes in the middle of it. Wadia apologizes to everyone for the inconvenience, disappointed that they do not have enough time to prepare a new model. On checking what is wrong with the model, he finds a vial of glue that he had seen with Atish earlier. It is clear that Atish messed with the model to destroy it. When he is called out for it, the entire class joins him, claiming that they helped him do it, even though it was only his plan. The dean is about to expel the entire class now that they have crossed the line, but Nina begs for him to let them take the exam because their future depends on it. In the end, they are suspended from attending school until the exams. The students are furious at Atish for breaking Nina's trust. That night, they gather by the bank of a river and decide that even if they cannot go to school, they will study hard for the exams and make their teacher proud. The next day, they visit Nina and apologize for everything they have done until now. Sachin sees this and is proud of his daughter for the first time in his life. He also starts to respect her as a person, realizing that he was in fact ashamed of her until now. 
too little too late, douche dad. For the next few weeks, the students do nothing but study. Nina invites them to her house almost every day for group studies. She also provides them with required stationaries, preparing them for the exam. The day before the exam, the school's janitor offers to sell the question papers to Atish. He buys it from him and tries to give it to the others. However, they do not want to cheat because that would mean betraying Nina. The morning of the exam, Atish realizes that the question papers he was provided with were fake. Still, the students do their best and score passing marks. One of them, named Oru, scores the highest marks, surpassing everyone even from class 9A. On doing some digging, Wadia finds out about the leaked question papers and accuses everyone from 9F of cheating. The janitor affirms that he sold the papers. The dean cannot excuse their actions anymore. He decides to expel everyone from the class in the morning assembly. The students apologize to Nina for letting her down, but insist that they did not cheat. Nina believes them, but she has no way to prove the same to the others. Then, we see Akshay and Wadia walking down the hallway. Akshay reveals that he was the one who sent the janitor to sell Atish the fake question papers. He hopes that Wadia will be proud of him, but instead, he looks at him in disappointment. In the morning assembly, the students are nervous about being expelled. But, to their surprise, Wadia apologizes for not believing in Class 9F and claims that he sent the janitor with the fake question paper. He wants to save his student as Nina did for 9F. In the end, the students are brought to the stage and two of them are given the prefect badges. A year later, the school takes part in the National Science Fair competition. The students collectively take part in it and win the first prize. Cut to 25 years later, Nina is now the principal of the school. It is her last day as a teacher before retiring. When she walks out, she meets the former 9F members who have all grown into successful adults. The movie ends as they reunite. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.